Okay, Phil Zimmerman gave us PGP and along with it hybrid encryption, uh, the web of trust, which um, decentralizes uh, PKI and uh, uh, actually, uh, you know, does what, what supposedly blockchain does for cryptocurrencies. Um, and uh, I think people should explore the web of trust model because it might actually work, whereas blockchain definitely doesn't. But uh, another name, uh, oh, and, and of course, proving to the other side in the crypto wars that they were complete idiots to have tried it in the first place. But anyways, um, another name in the field uh, that uh, probably uh, is unusual is uh, Claude Shannon. Um, he was originally a, uh, a telephone engineer, but he did uh, a lot of research and um, uh, looked at abstract formulations of the, um, well, uh, noise versus signal, um, how much bandwidth you needed for a given amount of signal, how much uh, signal you could send over uh, particular media, all kinds of these uh, things, uh, the, the basics of uh, communications and the analysis of what you need for communications. Um, you know, we, we owe uh, a lot of our ability to uh, even discuss these issues to work that Shannon did. Um, he uh, didn't uh, just look at um, uh, communications channels, but uh, looked at uh, encryption as well. And uh, his, well, his statement of it um, was that uh, encryption relied on confusion, which um, basically relates to substitution and diffusion, uh, which basically relates to permutation. Um, uh, confusion, of course, and, uh, you know, uh, it's not, doesn't look like it's supposed to, uh, you know, which substitution does for you. Um, diffusion, of course, is, is distributing the, uh, the signal, the meaning, um, across uh, the actual transmission uh, so that it's not all in the right place or the place that we expect it. So, uh, again, permutation there does that. You know, they, in uh, permutation uh, types of crypto systems, um, the, uh, the information is all there, it's all in plain sight, but it's, uh, um, it's transposed, it's permuted, it's, it, you know, mixed around. Um, the, as, as somebody put it, the words are all in the right place, uh, we just have to get them in the right order. So, uh, you know, all same letters and, and bits and all the rest of it. So, yeah, um, Shannon, uh, uh, provided us with, with a lot of these uh, concepts and <coughs> the ways to talk about it, the ways to um, think about it at an abstract level and, and do uh, theoretical calculations. And, uh, I mean, uh, an awful lot of the uh, theoretical work rests on uh, the, the basis that he laid down. And, and as I say, you know, our ability to even uh, discuss these issues at all. Um, uh, so we, you know, we owe him uh, a lot there. Um, and we, you know, uh, it, it also, uh, again, strengthens, uh, well, uh, reinforces anyways, the, um, the ideas uh, that we have here. Um, well, in, in terms of the fact that all the symmetric algorithms that we're dealing with are basically forms of uh, substitution and permutation.
uh, you know, there, there is uh, a theoretical basis for that. And, and we don't have to go, you know, herring off trying to find other things, other, other means, other processes uh, to uh, try and scramble the meaning um, and hopefully try and get it back. So, um, yeah, that's uh, a, a, you know, an important consideration in, in the same way that the um, formal models uh, that we looked at in architecture are uh, important to our discussions. It, it may not specifically work in, in helping us to design systems. Uh, well, yes, it does help us to design systems if we use it the right way. But, you know, it, it, it may not be directly implementable, but it does provide us with what we need in order to properly develop and implement our systems.